My name is Steve and welcome back to my shop. And this is part four of my Stuart S50 steam engine rebuild and repair. I expected this to be the final part. It was my intention to assemble the engine off camera and bring you back and watch it run and I had some machining of some small parts that I was going to include in it but as I started putting it back together I uncovered a few more issues and the main issue was that connecting rod when I hooked it up to the crankshaft was offset by about 50,000 so it was not moving straight uh, with the axis of the cylinder rod. Now in the last episode I made the crosshead and I had to take and make a few minor adjustments on the crosshead just to make it fit nice. And I've got that all back together. I'm going to bring you in, give you a close up and and show you what part four of this video is going to be all about. This is the partial assembly here. Here's the crankshaft and that slides in there and there's a crank pin which connects the connecting rod to the crankshaft and I don't know whether you can see it or not let's see if I can find the crank pin yep, here it is and the uh, the crank pin was binding in the connecting rod and so the first thing that I had to do was take a milling cutter and remachine the shoulder on the inside of the connecting rod to clear the head of the crank pin because it was actually binding and then it was either tightening or loosening the uh, the pin depending on how which direction you turned it so I have it working pretty nice right now as far as the crank pin is concerned I don't know whether you can see it I'll zoom in a little further it's the crankshaft or the connecting rod is quite a bit closer to this side than this side. It's quite a ways out of line with the piston rod. And so as, as it goes in and out, it binds. And I did some measuring and determined that it's almost 50 thousandths out of line. To be quite honest with you, I was so discouraged with the project at this point. And it was, it's one of the reasons that I haven't posted a video for several weeks. And every time I came out of here, I ran into another problem. And so, I'm not making excuses, it just kind of discouraged me a little bit. But we're back to work. So I did some investigation and determined, let's take it apart again here. I got the drawings out and I started measuring and I found that the width of the main bearing saddle, if you will, is one inch two hundred and eighty eight thousandths wide 
And according to the drawing, it's supposed to be an inch and seven thirty seconds, which would make it one point two one eight eight for argument's sake. I mean, we're not getting into tenths on this, so it should be one inch two hundred nineteen thousandths wide. So that makes this sixty nine thousandths too wide, and I'm off by fifty. So. I'm going to set up to cut 50 thousands off of the boss on this side and I'll take the balance off of the other side. Now let me show you how I'm going to set it up. Some time ago I built this pallet out of aluminum and so I'm going to mount the base on the pallet. It's a little bit shorter but we'll work it out. And the key to it is to align to make the or the uh, the crankshaft center line to be perpendicular with the line of the connecting rod. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put a couple of screws in here. When I made this, I have a large quantity of these socket head cap screws, and they're six millimeter. So I drilled and tapped the uh, plate for six millimeter. I don't have a lot of metric hardware other than these cap screws. So I've had to uh, be inventive a little bit. So I'm using them as a stop to at least get myself somewhat in alignment with the body. And when we get over to the milling machine, I'll show you how I'm going to double check and, and line that up. And the first thing I'm going to do is use this piece for a spacer. Take and clamp down on top of the mounting tabs. They don't line up with any of the holes. So I'll clamp down on that and I'll use that packing as a piece, that little packing for a spacer. Okay, that's pretty tight. Now the next thing I'm going to do is put a hole down up here. I said I don't have a whole lot of six millimeter hardware, but I did find this six millimeter bolt that I'm actually using a, like a stud. And I've got a couple of spacers, and I'll tighten this up by just cranking down on the nut. So this looks pretty good. It looks pretty solid, at least for the light milling that I'll be doing on it. So let's take it over to the milling machine, and I'll show you how I'm going to set it up there. And my pallet fits inside in the vise. I've got it sitting on a couple of parallels. And what I've got... Let me bring you in a little closer so you can see it. I put a piece of drill rod through the mains. I trust this to be straight and it fits, fits real well. So what I'm going to do now is use my edge finder to make sure that this is perpendicular. back over to the other side and I'm going to check it on this side
goes. Right on the money. And I'm going to touch down. I set the depth that I want. And I'm going to touch down on this side. Touch down on it. Now I'm going to set my DRO at zero. I'm going to take about a ten thousandths cut each time on it. Final cut. This gives me fifty thousand. Okay, the overall width is not that critical, so I'm just going to come over here on this side and touch down on it and make sure that it's. Parallel to the other side. There it goes. I'm just going to take ten thousandths off of this side. happy with that. Uh, let's take it back over the bench and we'll look and see what we did. Yeah, I'm going to reassemble this while it's still on the pallet just to make sure that I've got it right so that I don't have to put it all back together again. Ooh, I like it. Let's put the crank pin in. Okay, I've got it. Had to run a reamer through the connecting rod. It wasn't lined up perfectly. So I ran a reamer through it. And it's looking pretty good. I'm happy with the alignment now. Still a little tiny bit of a bind in there, but it's the uh, crank pin. It has nothing to do with the alignment. Gotta, yeah, that looks pretty good. So, I will continue putting this together. And in the next video, hopefully we'll have it running. I will see you in the next video.